Hey, um, we're here with Frank D. Giovanni, the uh, city manager of the city of Inverness, and Sunny Cooter. And hi, Sunny. Hi, Frank. This is the turtle, right? That's the okay. turtle, yes. Um, so, Frank, what is the history of Cooter Fest? You know, Cooter Fest started uh, as a concept. We uh, at City Hall were uh, thinking of ways we could best identify and brand Inverness with a quirky, crazy, type festival event and uh, we really didn't know what we were going to do. We were thinking of a gator type fest or uh, some other type uh, natural thing from nature and uh, as we were having a staff meeting, I'll never forget this, we talked about Cooter Pond, we were talking about quirky festivals and Marilyn Jordan who was city clerk right about then said why don't, why don't we just do a Cooter Festival and we talked about the uh, trauma and the challenge in pulling that off. And you know, we decided uh, this could be a fun thing. This, this could be something that really uh, has uh, legs and lasts a long time. And um, we took that, the seeds of that idea and started, I started meeting with different factions of, of the county. I met with people from the chamber, people from the uh, Rotary. I met with people from Kiwanis, different groups. Did everything very casually, very informally. and. Uh, as we got closer to the appropriate time, we felt, of launching the concept, we did. And uh, immediately became controversial. I mean, it, it just went all over the place. It took a life of its own. And the next thing we knew, this was 04, 2004, which was when four tropical storms, hurricanes, you know, hit the state of Florida. This all happened the same year. Uh, in August of 2004, The Daily Show, uh, made a call to City Hall and asked uh, to speak with the uh, sp people in city government who were uh, pushing this festival. So, the and the first one was in 2003. 2004. This was 2004. Oh, but this the was... first festival was 2003. It had to have been, if this is... It was... This is 2013. This... Mm, okay, I'll have to count. But anyway, so tell me about the first festival. What the first festival uh, took off, took a life of its own because we had the Daily Show. We had national media attention. Now this was um, the Daily Show. How did they find out about it? They found out there was controversy along the uh, lines of the festival itself. Even the before the first. Yeah, in the community, right? Even right. before the first. There was a double entendre right, with uh, the right. word cooter. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, and others were being accused, of, especially me, of being disrespectful to women. Like, how could I be trying to promote the city with this dastardly, inappropriate uh, venue? And uh, The Daily Show uh, picked up on the dialogue uh, through the internet. And um, they came to Citrus County, they came to the city of Inverness, and they wanted to meet the principal uh, players involved in the uh, the conversation and came up with a five and a half minute uh, video that still to this day is one of the funniest, uh, most viewed videos uh, on The Daily Show, Comedy Central uh, Daily Show. It's hilarious. So, oh, it's, it is hilarious. And that put us on the map though. We started immediately getting emails and calls from around the nation. And I don't mean uh, a little bit uh, outside of Florida. I mean across the entire nation, even from people in Canada, wanted to know where Citrus County, Florida, where is Inverness, Florida, because they're coming to this festival. So something we thought we could ease into took off like a rocket. And we had to quickly put together uh, this family type event. And the whole thing took place right here in this park. It was uh, on a Saturday. And uh, the first one was, quite frankly, small, not very sophisticated, not overly complex. Uh, and everybody thought it was a great little festival to come to. And it was. But from that year, it's grown. And it's constantly changed. We've made sure that uh, if you came back year after year, you were going to see something different. Oh, that's and, right. And you had the general... Yeah, in the beginning, we tied this into um, the Dukes of Hazard because there was a character on the Dukes of Hazard named Cooter, right? Got there it. was Cooter. And we <laughs> tied it into 
uh, Dukes of Hazard Curtis. So we had the General Lee and we had some of the characters from the Dukes of Hazard the first few years, remember? And we had a pretty good time with them and the town responded accordingly because they were seeing te TV personalities they grew up with or their kids grew up with. And uh, the first few years, I'll say the first five years, we went along that venue and then we changed, we shifted. And the Cruda Fest took on a different uh, demographic. We started having the street parties downtown. We started opening this up to a much more youthful crowd. We kept the family day at the park. We introduced Cruda Ween, which is the costume contest, which is now adults and children and toddlers and pets and anything anybody wants to decorate. And we've grown this to an immediate uh, three solid day bash uh, in downtown Inverness the last full weekend of every October. And then leading up to this, we have competitions for Cooter Idol and Miss Cooter. And this year we have the Cooter Crawl in downtown. There's, I think, four, four restaurants involved. Tickets are already sold out for the first Cooter Crawl. I, I heard and then that. we're going to go, we got Cooter Scooter coming up this weekend. And, uh, you know, that's going to hit all the veteran uh, uh, associations in Citrus County. And then we're going to move from that to um, uh, other things, you know, that take place in the city of Inverness. But the real thrust of the Cooter Festival, uh, and this year we, we might be promoting 10 days of the Cooter, the real thrust is that Friday night street bash. We're going to have exceptional, exceptional uh, uh, rock and roll bands. We're going to have U2 tribute. We're going to have the Stones uh, tribute. And we may even have a third band, I'm not sure uh, right now, coming into that. But, uh, and then we're going to go from that into this park on Saturday. And we got a special treat because this is Crew to 10. We're going to have the Blues Brush Busters here. And uh, they're going to, the Blues B Brothers, excuse me, Blues Busters. The Blues Brothers uh, here uh, that Saturday, and this is um, the same uh, act, the same performance that'll be at Universal. You'll wow. see, you'll see some of those uh, performers right here uh, at this year's Cooter Festival in, in downtown uh, Inverness. Is, so, it, is it just Liberty Park, or is it also? It's um, all, no, it's going to be right here. And and we it's got, not Wallace now, We pretty much have five acres. We're going to take advantage of this park. We're going to make people enjoy each other. We'll take care of the children's games. We'll race the turtles. We'll have the, the Blues Brothers performing. We'll have a lot of music. We'll have food venues, booths. We'll have a lot of the community well represented. And this will come off Friday night, which is one heck of a street party. And then after Saturday, we'll ease into a uh, Ween. And Cooter Ween is the uh, more uh, a venue toward uh, costumes and Halloween and, and people just dress up. So, you know, the Cruda Festival started uh, quickly. Uh, it's quite frankly was small, but it has grown to an event that is uh, very large. Uh, it's expansive from the standpoint of what it touches. We have a large contingency coming from uh, Orlando, Gainesville. People come up from Tampa. And uh, it's really reaching out. It's, uh, it takes time for these festivals to get themselves established. And the Cruder Festival, as it hits its 10th year, is well established. And, and, you know, personally, I don't see it going away. I think there's a lot of life left in this turtle. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun over the next uh, several years, if not another 10 years after this. Is it, a, is it a money maker for the city? You know, the city, we're government. What we do is prime the pump more than anything. And what we want to see is businesses and hotels and gas stations and restaurants make the money. It's about us doing what we can to help mom and pop businesses prosper. And one thing uh, we do is we understand marketing. And the Cruder Festival is one venue of marketing by the city, but as you know, there are a lot of events that take place uh, in and about downtown Inverness. We love Sunny, and Sunny's a big part of that. How, how did the two of you meet? Huh? How did the two of you meet? Yeah, the two of us, hey, that, that's a story we can't tell all of. But I'll tell you this, it was not in a local pub. But we did meet, I think as we were building the boardwalk in Cruder Pond, uh, there was a little brush of attention. But from there, this whole relationship has just grown. 
And I got to tell you, Sunny uh, makes us all look good uh, <laughs> as we uh, do our best to make the city a better place for everyone. So what's on tap for Cooter 11? Oh, Cooter, I got, we got to get through Cooter 10. Cooter 11, I'm sure, will have uh, what Cooter 10 has and a little bit more. And I think Cooter 11, you'll see a larger amount of people uh, turning out for the Cooter Idol and uh, Cooter Queen competitions. That's a very important venue. But we're introducing this year Cooter Crawl. And I definitely see Cooter Crawl. It's already sold out. I mean, it's sold out two weeks in advance. I see Cooter Crawl, crawl growing, and I see uh, this Cooter leading that crawl to many more establishments, many more uh, restaurants uh, in downtown Inverness. And Inverness itself continues to grow. Uh, the mom and pops whom we cater to and whom we attract and we want to be part of this community uh, find uh, Inverness a place where they want to invest and they're willing to make that commitment to this community. This community is willing to make a commitment back to them that we will do our best to help you succeed and prosper. And that's what we're doing with this marketing and that's what Sunny's all about and that's what the city is about. So one last question. Now at the Cooter Festival, you don't have any um, like barbecued Cooter booths or anything. No, we we haven't. We don't have any of that okay. uh, this year. I think in time, when that market develops a little bit more, uh, we'll we'll get into that. But there's no How, stew. What do you feel about that? There's no stew. No, no Cooter. There's no. Okay. <laughs> None of the family is, is that committed right yet, but we, uh, we may see that uh, in Cuda festivals 11, 12, 13, and 14 as we go out. Okay. I, you know, it's amazing that we're sitting here talking about the 10th, because it doesn't seem that long ago mm -hmm. we did the first. And yet the first, as I mentioned, we, wa we wanted to ease into this thing and do something that we could gently massage and make grow. Once you got national attention through The Daily Show, it was off to the races. It was a rocket ship taking off. Okay. Hey, this is small town America. And you know, Inverness, uh, in our own way, we had Cooter Pond. We figured this is a natural uh, and it's worked. And it, it, it works because of the commitment of the community, but it's also because small town America is very much alive and well. And this is what people expect to see in the, this type community. And um, here we are, right? Mm -hmm. You bet. Well, thank you. Sunny, I know you have things to do. And she works harder than me. <laughs> I mean, working it. I'm just here for the ride. Okay. Well, thank you, Sunny, for taking your time. And, and thanks, Frank. Thanks again.